I'm going to show you how to get access to the Bricktown Vault. If you don't know where that's at, you can go to the fast travel point at Bricktown right near the start of the game. That's why I'm standing here. And all you have to do is run straight forward. We're going to run until we hit a boss fight. Now this boss, in addition to his normal was loot, is going to give you a key. And I'll show you where to use the key, but before you open the loot, make sure you do a manual save of the game. This loot is not static, which means that you can go and farm it until you get loot that you want, or if you just happen to get a bad roll, it doesn't matter. I should have dodged that, but it won't matter. It's a very easy boss. I feel like the controls might be better on a, con on a controller. I might give that a shot. Anyway, boss has been defeated. We'll get like a very, very short cutscene here. And there's the vault key. So now what we need to do is just go into the actual tunnel. And you're going to take this path on the left. Not that there's other paths to take. And then we're going to go down the hole. And you need to use your key right here now once you're in here this is where you're going to want to save you're going to see the game auto saving you can wait for that to finish but what you're going to do is this is your big loot and i received a furk bolt and a saddle that is randomized it is going to be different uh so you can keep trying these side things here are also randomized so you can min max as much as you really want but you don't really need to it's very early on with loot and then, of course, over here are some healing items for you. But I hope that explains how to do this first world vault. And uh, if you were confused where to go, I hope that solves it for you.